we have a bunch of new stuff and a bunch of old stuff. And the first thing I'm gonna show you, we just got it back today. There's nothing like this out there. I guarantee it, if there is, tell me. Everyone likes sight fishing in early ice because the ice is thin, it's easier to cut. And what we made, this is an old tree saw. And I'll show you. I took the handles off each end and I got that custom made handle. So you can stand right behind, right behind it and you're just gonna shred the ice. Cause look how long the bar is on this thing. This thing is an absolute unit. We're gonna try and do some sight fishing first this year. And I'll make a video just on this to see how much it the ice. The Big Buddy's nothing new. We've been using it for a while. Everybody knows about them. Some of them don't come with fans, which really sucks. So last year I made an attachment just to put a fan in top, just to force the air out a little bit, get it moving in the tent. This is our new lineup of tungstens we're running this year. All these are in the shop if you guys are interested too. Come check them out. These are all the eight mils we got. And above them are all the five mils. Panfish, trout, and walleye. It depends what the bite's going to. Everybody knows you gotta have tungstens. They're dense, they get down quick. You gotta keep the fish entertained before they swim away. And these little babies. I have never used dinner bells by Frostbite yet. First on the left is the Insanity Pepper, then it goes to the Bullseye, the purple, 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 the purple Burn, and then the Lip Smacker. Those are definitely gonna be the first ones I try for walleye this year. This is the most exciting thing that came today. This is the dipstick, the 39 Light. Panfish, everybody knows if you watch my videos, I love catching perch, it's so fun. And the best thing about this is it bends so easy. The fish won't even know there's a hook in its mouth and you're gonna. So if you guys got auto setters for dead sticking, these are like the best rods you can get. We went and got the Ghost Black Betty Fishing 13 Reel. Now this baby, if you haven't seen or noticed, it's an inline reel. You're gonna get way less backlash. It's got the quick release, dump down periscope so quick and keep the perch in the same area. Once they start moving, they're usually they're gone and the big ones are hit and miss. And another cool little option, you have the adjustment on the side right here. And that's gonna be how quick it goes down. This is getting real exciting now. This is our walleye rod. We went and got the 38 medium true grit. Now this baby is a graphite. It's got a stronger backbone, so it's gonna be better for walleye opposed to panfish. I really wanted to get one per species this year. So this one is gonna be our walleye, and that's gonna be our panfish. This little beauty right here, this is the Johnny Morris 2.0 carbon light. Just listen to it. Oh, it's so smooth. I've never had good rods and reels. Like if you guys watch all my videos, I get Canadian tire combos with the $25 rod and reel. So this is the first year we're going out and getting some pretty good rods and reels. So I'm pretty pumped about that. So this is going to be the walleye smasher. Oh, also, we do have a rod and reel. It's still in the bottom of the trout pond. So we're gonna, we're gonna locate that this year with the magnets and camera and get that back. Now I'm gonna blow your guys' mind with the new hook center by Catch On, it's a sure shot. I'll show you it up close. We kind of already messed around with it here. This is it. It comes apart entirely. The, the steel pegs come off, it goes to the center, and it, I'll show you the package after. It virtually ends up with like zero space is what it uses. And this, look, this is the gun. This is the 3D printed gun. It's so sick. And you can adjust the sensitivity with the stock, with the string of how tight or loose you want it to be, depending on what you're fishing, like perch a little less, or with walleye, you can make it a little tighter. Take your rod. Now this is why we wanted the dipstick too, for the, for the hook setters. And it's already adjusted for the length of tightness. You wheel it over like this. I got it really, really sensitive right now. And that's it. Whoops. I got it, hang on, we gotta reset it. I got it wrapped up underneath. There, check this out. I'll bring the camera a little closer. And what you do is when you're, I haven't put line in it yet, obviously, but you string it out and you put it over the barrel and down. So when the fish tugs on it, Awesome. It's so cool and it's so convenient. It's nothing, it just sits in the bottom right here. You rip it out and land that perch. I'll leave a link of an actual video going over this unit. We sell them locally too. Check them out. All right, now the quick review of electronics. You guys, I'll leave a link to the video for the Markham HD Pursuit. It's good and it's bad. It's 1080 recording, I love that. But the whole the whole reason it sucks, there's no leap, leap, bleep, bleep. There's no bleep, 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 bleep. There's no loop feature. So when you're recording, you literally gotta go through an entire day of footage to map the sync up with your GoPro with the shots and it's so annoying. But other than that, I love the Markham HD. I'll leave a link to the floor view on just this unit. You guys can check it out if you want, but it's, I still like it. Now we're going bare bones, basic bones. This is the Ice 35 Hummingbird. This is the lowest one you can get and I love it. 
I just want it for depth. I don't care about temperature because I can't control the temperature of the water. Some guys want to know certain temperatures, fish start moving around and it makes sense, but I can't control that. So I just don't really care. This thing's all analog, it's not digital. I just, I love it. This is the first one I ever bought. And I'm gonna run this thing till it dies. Okay, now I should have actually included this with the sure shot um, hook setter. This is the bags that come in and this literally is how small it is. When you come, you take it apart, it's got the clips up here to hold the rods together and it just goes right in there. So you put it anywhere you want. Another product through Catch On. This is the Auto Jigger. I love this. We used them all last winter. It runs on one AA battery. You can get 20 some hours out of one battery depending what battery you buy. I've had it out in minus 30 weather all day long. It still gives her shit. Now you can do this three settings. You can go up and down consistently slow. You can go up fast, down slow, vice versa. I've had amazing luck on this. We even caught a 10 pound jack on it. it, it it kicks ass. And they come in in about $79.95. Opposed to buying other brands, you gotta get the, the hook setter, and then you gotta get the jigger, and it's around 250 bucks. So, links below. We sell them locally too. Amazon links I'll leave below as well. And this, this, is also by Catch On. They're called gliders. You guys have to check the gliders out if you are new. They are the bomb for ice fishing. They go on your jig just like that, they clip on and they go up and they just shoot off to the side. It looks, it's realistic movement. It's something the fish are not used to seeing. They're so cool. We got a really good video, like I said, link. Check it out too if you've never seen these. And they come in packs of three. Just like that, 10 bucks a pack for three. Almost done, don't leave. And now everybody's worried about me and the pooch on the water. So we finally went and got some float gear. It's probably a good idea because we go out probably earlier than we should. And this is, I'm so pumped to try this. It's the Climate Veil Camouflage. I didn't want the white, that's too, I don't know, too common, everybody has white. So I wanted to get like the Woodland Camouflage. The windproof, waterproof, it's, I forget the value of insulation, but I was so hot. We tried it in the house for fun and used it for a little bit. It's all double padded, everything. It's even got the little features like line cutter right here. And last but not least, oh, I'll leave a link for it too. We did a full review on the Otter XT Hideout. It's below it. I wanted a one man. I'm sick of setting up Hotel, Hotel California there, the six to seven auto resort. It's great for situations, but I want to run and gun a lot more. So I got the one man flip over. Link below, or did I say that? I don't even know, but check it out. It's a full review on that. 